Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the king of Saudi Arabia plans to step down and announce his son as his successor next week. A source close to the country's royal family has exclusively told DailyMail.com. Now, the move is seen as the final step in 32-year-old Prince Mohammed bin Salman's power grab, which began earlier this month with the arrest arrests, excuse me, of more than 40 princes and government ministers in a corruption probe, and you probably remember this. Now, the source said King Salman will continue only as a ceremonial figurehead, handing over official leadership of the country to his son, often referred to as MBS. Unless something dra dramatic happens, King Salman will announce the appointment of MBS as King of Saudi Arabia next week, said the source. Now, King Salman will play the role of the Queen of England. He will only keep the title Custodian of the Holy Shrines. Now, a high-level source said once crowned king, the prince, who you see right there with Donald Trump, will shift his focus to Iran, a long-standing rival oil empire to Saudi Arabia in the Middle East, with fears military action is possible. And we've been hearing about that, folks. He will also enlist the help of the Israeli military to crush Hezbollah, the Lebanese militia supported by Iran, according to the source. Folks, um, this could take, this move could potentially take an already chronically unstable area of the world, being the Middle East, and start a hellstorm. I mean, it, this could, um, this, this war, this potential war between Saudi Arabia and Iran, it just, I, I keep seeing it around, linked, ta discussed, talked about. Uh, this is probably coming, folks, and this, there, there's no good outcome here. I mean, we in America, we get a lot of our oil. I don't know. I can't think of percentages how much of our oil, but too much of our oil is coming from Saudi Arabia and that area of the world. We are too dependent on it. This could, um, I don't know. I, I just sense this could be a bad thing. If it's true, this could put us in a very perilous position. Anyway, folks, I will leave you a link to this so you can read the rest of it if you choose to do so. And when it comes to reading and it comes to links, I'd ask you please to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. Uh, the Kindle is only $1.99, the Kindle Unlimited program. If you're signed up through that, you can read it for free. And the paperback is a modest $7.99. Now, uh, here is a quote from the story that you see here in this uh, image of mine from a man named Troop, and he says, Don't call me bruh, do you understand? I'm the president, and you refer to me respectfully, and I want you to figure out who hacked my Twitter account, and don't even try to tell me that it was the damn Russians. Hmm, uh, 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 President Troop who likes to tweet. I wonder who he might be based on. This is just one small facet of what goes on in this gritty, edgy, end times uh, Christian fiction book that has, has absolutely no fluff whatsoever, folks. If you're a watcher of world events, if you're tracking the machinations of the deep state, if you're a fan of the alternative media, by golly, this is a book for you. Check it out. You can also read chapter one for free. It's called Fake News. That is also linked below where you can uh, meet indie journalist Dave Jameson. Read that for free. Go right ahead. And there's also some music of mine down there as well. Now moving on. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, folks, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up and please share it if you feel so led. And most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you and I will see you soon.